Hello YouTube, welcome to Atrocious Gameplay here. We are here on this fantastic Friday looking at Picaram, arguably uh, one of the tier one decks right now in the Rebel Clash format heading into the Limitless Qualifier. I say Friday, even though I think it's past midnight on Thursday. Either way, we're thinking about Pokemon still. Now, if you do not know already, Picaram, Pikachu, and Zekrong tag team is a very, very strong and consistent deck going right going on right now in the format and it's been around for a hot second tapu coco great for energy acceleration you can use full blitz to move your energy really anywhere from your deck to accelerate onto pokemon such as raichu and alolan raichu bolton v tapu coco v and also zara or a very very wide pool set if you want to or honestly you could even tag bolt to the active you can use tag bolt gx what this does, if you have three extra energies, so six total on your Picaram, or five if you have the Thunder Mountain, you can do 200 to the active and 170 onto the bench. Very, very strong move. Speed energy, very great addition into this deck. Very, very strong, strong card. Bolton V, it kind of could be that cheap option in terms of energy costs that can also hit very, very heavy. And also just overall be a two prizer. The tag call engine, little bit of a meme as of late, but I do think that Picaram tag call is actually pretty decent in my opinion. We have different ways to move around energy, whether that is energy switch or tag switch that I have. I have tool scrapper because I think tool scrapper is just kind of a decent card right now in terms of People are playing things like Big Charm. People are playing things maybe even like a Hustle Belt. Um, if you're talking about ADP Spirit Tomb or things like a Skateboards. People are putting more Switches, even some Malolanas in their deck. So if we can use, have them use that on things like Jirachi instead of bigger things like Dragapult and stuff, uh, we might be A-OK. -okay. Boss's Orders, just a very obvious great addition just an overall very very good card for those of you that have been here long time the lysander reprint um and just some really really good stuff especially with volkner here so let's just go into some games you know right now oh i should actually mention eldegoss v also just a good tech good addition in this deck um it's essentially its ability is a versus seeker for all of you who don't know but if you don't even know what the Versus Seeker is because you're newer, welcome on in first off. But also, uh, Eldegoss V, Happy Match, allows you to put a supporter from your discard pile into your hand. So a very, very nice card. Could be used in a lot of different decks right now. So let's just go into our first game with this. And here we go, going into our first game. Looking, ah uh, man, lose the coin flip, lose the game. Not really, that's not how that works. They're going first, so we might be able to get a tag call off. Or, I'm sorry, we might be able to get a full blitz turn one. Uh, we do have a little bit of different things that we can do with this, so that's very, very nice. It all depends on what we top deck, though. This is looking maybe like a Dragapult? So, Dragapult, we'll see how this goes. And there's a scoop up net. We'll see if they can maybe put down another Jirachi. There's a Mysterious Treasure. It is Dragapult. I believe this is a Malamar version, possibly, um, that I see this Oranguru here. But I could be wrong on that. They decided to throw away another Mysterious Treasure, which is very, very interesting. I don't, mm, They must have some like really good stuff in their hand to be... To be throwing away another mysterious treasure and not getting like another Inke down or saving it for next turn with a Dragapult V Max. Um, you never know. You never know. But we'll see. This is definitely a deck for those of you that have been playing for a while. Maybe you're not exactly sure what to play. This is a deck that doesn't require a ton of different um rebel clash cards picaram obviously as i mentioned earlier been around for a while um you can definitely definitely play around okay so i could see why they ah i would have used the mysterious treasure to throw away this mewtwo to get like an ink or something on the field so this right here this chaotic swell is actually 
it makes it so much harder for us to be able to do what we want to do. We do have the Marsh Shadow in the deck, though, so that is just very, very nice. Um, but we're going to have to Electromagnetic Radar. We're going to have to throw away Sky Pillar and this right here. I'm trying to think about what all I want to do. I'm definitely going to have to grab you. And I think I'm going to have to grab you because I definitely want to attach. We have four Switch cards in the deck. We also have the Air Balloon to get Bolton to retreat. But now, especially because of this Chaotic Swell, we want we want to attach to this Pika Rom. We want to attach to this Pika Rom. So I think we're okay with doing this right here. We are going to put this guy down. We're going to attach the Speed Energy right there. There's the Switch. That's what I was talking about the whole time. But not exactly in the spot that we want because we want to be able to uh we want to be able to tapu coco first and then switch so we're definitely going to attach this right here we're going to play this electro power no matter what I'm trying to think maybe we tag call we grab some other stuff we could grab the guzma Hala and then also the um pikachu and zekrom possibly throwing away the pikachu and zekrom but I'm trying to think what all we want to do. We already threw away a stadium. We don't really need. We could grab the air balloon. We could grab the air balloon. So then we don't need a switch. So we might actually do that. We'll grab this air balloon here. And I don't think I'm going to grab a speed energy. I think I just want to grab this balloon. We want to attach right there. We'll throw this up right there. We're going to do Dene. See six new cards. And I don't think that we're going to be able to get another energy in the discard. So we will not be able to get the turn one attack off. We can definitely dance to the ancients. We can dance. We can definitely dance around. Might as well use the tag call to grab our other Pokemon as well. And the Guzma Hala. But I don't want to get this Tapu Koko caught. And if we can't if we can't get the turn to attack, then we might as well just go ahead. But I also don't want this uh I don't want this uh Pikaram to just get slapped here. I think we're just gonna chill out. I think we're just gonna hang loose. They're more than likely going to be able to get the Dragapult VMAX attack off. Although, two Mysterious Treasures down, I don't know. Never mind, they had it in hand. Of course, they always assume that your opponent has everything in hand. <laughs> but now they just need a Switch card. They already threw away two Scoop Up Nets. I imagine that they play four Scoop Up, four Switch. I could see another Quick Ball for like a Dedenne or something like that. Mew... So then we don't tag bolt to the active. That's fine. I think against Dragapult, I'm pretty okay with using Choo Choo. Because I think what's better is to go... Well, we don't have Choo Choo anymore, so see you later, Alligator. Maybe could have benched him. I just didn't want to get those premature damage counters on him, you know. Um, but we do get our Tapu Koko V, which is actually really, really nice. They're going to Pokemon Catcher up the Pikachu and Zekrom here. So then they can um, try to two-hit KO it. They're actually going to go for the Dedenne. Interesting. So this actually does make it really, really tougher. Because now we really need a Switch card. Wow, look at that. Top deck Switch. Um, we're going to go right here. We are going to try to think about how I want to play this out. I think I'm okay with doing this. Go boom, boom. We put that right there. I think we can go ahead and grab the Zeraora. We could actually do a Chaotic Swell, but I don't know if I want a Chaotic Swell yet. Uh, you only have three little itty-bitty damage counters left on you, so you're probably going to get knocked out here in a second. Um, we're going to go ahead and just research. See a bunch more cards. We do have Electro Power, but I don't want to use Electro Power yet. 
Bolton is still alive, so we can utilize that later. We could go for the Choo Choo. They don't have another Draga pulled out. I think maybe we could go for the Choo Choo. Let's go for this Choo Choo. Now, the real question is, how many energies am I going to have in the deck? That's the real question. Let's go ahead and pull Blitz now. Doing 150. Okay, we're seeing enough. We're seeing enough. And I think what I want to do... I think what I want to do is I want to put it here. So we will be able to use the Tandem Shock next turn. Now, they are going to get a knockout on this Dedene. I already know that's going to happen. It's unfortunate, but that's, again, that's just how it rolls. They're going to get the Dragapult out here. Here comes the switch into Jirachi to find them maybe a supporter or something like that. And here comes a Marnie. So here goes away the Electro Power, probably. I mean, Electro Power would do us very, very well. I assume that the Marnie is coming, though. We have other ways to get the Electro Power, though, right? I mean, we haven't we haven't even used the Volkner yet. We have several more in the deck. And we haven't used an Electro Power. Actually, no, we used one Electro Power in the beginning of the game. But again, we still have Volkner, so we have plenty of outs. And look at that, there's another Electro Power. And we even have a Switch. I mean, Switch doesn't really matter, but... You know. Alright, so here comes this Max Phantasm. Boom, right there. 220, though. So, a Max Phantasm. Wait a minute, 20? Yeah, um, a uh, Max Phantasm would take a knockout right here. They're probably going to, I would think they put three here and maybe like a couple right here. Is what I would think. Oh, putting two right here. Maybe they've got a boss's orders in hand right now. I think maybe just full blitzing onto the... I think full blitzing would actually not be that bad of an idea. One, two, three, four, five. Five wouldn't do a ton of damage, though. That would only be 160. So I'm trying to think exactly how this, how I want this to play out. Because I could electro power. I could electro power for 180. That would take a knockout. I'm definitely going to do that. We are going to energy switch. No. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just Marnie now. We do have tool scrapper, which is okay. We do have this Mars shadow, which is nice, I guess. Um, we get rid of the chaotic swell. So might as well do that right now. Tool Scrapper does get rid of the escape board, so maybe we can keep them stranded right there. And let's go ahead and full blitz and try to accelerate some energy onto the board right now. So we have three. I think we put the three on the Tapu Coco. I think we put the three on the Tapu Coco. Okay, so we don't get knocked out here. If they have a boss's orders, that's just going to be... Ouch. Do have the Thunder Mountain. That's really nice. We also have a Volkner, so we can use Electro Power. We could have actually put it on... Nah, well, that probably wouldn't have worked. I was going to say, Lightning Red does 250, 280. We're still a lot off, though. So they have another skateboard there, obviously. We'll see if they run more than one Chaotic Swell, though. We just hope that this doesn't leave the active, right? We hope that they don't have another Pokemon Catcher or Boss's Orders coming in. 
Um, better Mysterious Treasure for maybe a Dragapult VMAX rather than a uh, Thingamadooda. A Dedene to do another boss's orders. But ideally, I think what I want to do now is I want to use Tandem Shock, paralyze him, and then come in with the Tapu Koko to take the knockout. All right, so here's the research. So no boss's orders, but again, Pokemon Catcher is still a thing. Here's a bead. Oh, that's very interesting. But Shrine of Punishment, we're going to be able to take that out. I'm not super worried about that. They're going to be putting damage counters places. I think I'm going to be attaching for the Bolt Storm option as well. In case they maybe like put five damage counters here. Um, we'll soften them up a little bit with the choo-choo. Okay, so they're going to go in with the Zara Aura. So there's that. We bring up the Boltund. Shrine doing its ticks. That's fine. We're going to go here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is not going to be able to take a knockout by far. Um, but we're going to go here because, again, I want to soften him up a little bit. Here's a boss's order. Here's an electro power. Um, I don't think there's anything I really want to go chase. I only want to chase if... Um, but honestly, Marnie might not be the worst idea I've ever heard. So let's put out the Electro Power. Let's use the Electro Power. Because we want to do more and more damage, right? Because we know this deck may play a Mallow and Lana. So let's go ahead and Marnie. I wish I had Reset Stamp. Oh my gosh, I have Reset Stamp. All right. Here we go, chat. Here we go. Reset Stamp down to one. And then we will retreat into you. I'm going to wait to use the energy switch, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to Tandem Shock. Boom. He's going to be paralyzed. He's got 190 on. I'm okay with these damage counters because if you hit into me, you got to put, you got to hit on the bench. And so two cards in the hand. It's going to be a switch. So going into Jirachi, that's fine. That's better than a Mallow and Lana. Mallow and Lana would almost be worst case scenario. This music's very intense for this game. Oh, goodness. Professor's Research. But again, it's better than Boss's Orders, right? It's better than Boss's Orders. So here we go. Again, we know they have Pokemon Catchers, so maybe they only have one in the deck. Maybe they have two. We may never know. But let's see. If they do have something like a Pokemon Catcher or Boss's Orders left in the deck, I could see them just like waiting it out, maybe putting Mew in the active or something like that. Just trying to just trying to wait it. But I don't know. There's a Mallow and Lana they threw away. So there's no there's no going back now. No going back now with healing, unless they play Eldegoss, which they haven't revealed Eldegoss yet in any way. Still digging. Still digging. Mysterious Treasure, still digging. Still digging, chat. Ooh, here comes the pings, though, maybe with Garatina. Maybe they just leave Garatina out. Maybe they're like, okay, hit my Garatina. Maybe they retreat into him. I'm trying to think about what I want to do. We don't have any reset stamps. Um, the only gusts I think we have... I don't think we have a great catcher in this list, actually. Now that I think about it. That's a different list that I play great catchers. Great catchers wouldn't really help us out, though. I mean, they'd be cool, but wouldn't really help us out in the grand scheme of things. Top deck research would be insane. Or top deck orders would be insane. If we had orders in the discard already, be insane. But here we go. Here's an electro power. Not going to help us again. 
trying to think. Hmm. Maybe we go in with the Boltund? Maybe we go in with Boltund. So let's go switch and energy. We don't really need switch, but whatever. I'm actually gonna switch into this Coco. I feel like Coco is just overall the better option. We're gonna put this energy right here. And we are going to Thunderous Bolt for knockout. So unfortunately, we don't get the boss's orders. It's in the deck. We know it, we saw it earlier. We had to put it in with the Marnie. But we'll see, we'll see now. Maybe I should have gone in and just gone as super aggressive with the professor's research. Because then we could have essentially assured a next turn. All right, here's the catcher. Game deciding on a coin flip. Heads or tails? Head you win. Tails? Ah, you may still win. Oh, tails. Okay. Well, I still don't have boss's orders. So there's that. But that may have been your last gusting effect. Not 100% sure. Thunder Mountain's sticking, though. That's been really, really nice to us. But I think they're trying to decide now what on earth they do. I say they throw up the Garatina. Kind of just sack that because you want to be able to go into Jirachi next turn if you have any other last resort cards. I would assume that they do because they're still using Primate Wisdom. They're still digging a little bit. But, whew, this is a long game. A Rangaroo? Attached to a Rangaroo? Wap down to 70? If you could gust this up and use Wap down, I don't know why you would. Okay, here's a discard draw 7. So my opponent has almost decked out now. They've seen all of their cards except two. Except two cards. I can't remember if they used uh, if they used the Stellar Wish or not. Yes, it already had used Stellar Wish this turn. Here's the Ordinary Rod, shuffling some things back in. Gonna be a couple Pokemon, couple energies. Probably something like Mewtwo, I would think, right? Well, they don't have boss's orders. Malo and Lana though. How many switches have they played? They have played all four switches, so they don't have any more switching outs that I know of. So opting to not put the Mewtwo in, probably going with the... Uh, they could have another Mysterious Treasure or a Quick Ball to go get that Mew. No, they don't have... Nope, they don't have any more searching options for Pokemon. That I know of, at least. So we're we're kind of sitting all right. But here's Acrobike. Is this our last Acrobike? That was their last Acrobike. They're going to put some of that on. If they get an energy, they have to have an energy in hand. And they decided to attach it onto this Orangaru earlier. Oh, that feels bad. That feels bad. There's definitely things that we could have done to make this better, though. Like, doing the professor's research would have been a much better decision, in my opinion. It would have been much, much better, in my opinion. I'm going to retreat into you. 
I'm gonna do this in case they bump Thunder Mountain. There's boss's orders. Here we go. GG's. Nice. So Dragapult going down to the Picaron. He was there was another one that was prized, but I'll probably cut up that game a little bit. Well, let's just jump right into the next game. All right, moving right along into the next game. Could be a Picaram, could be a Boltund. I don't know. I don't look at the little preview things. I probably should, especially now that Pokemon has announced the uh, special tournament thing going on. Took a look at that on stream. Two starters I definitely don't want to see. I think because I have the Switch, I might as well just do the Coco. Feels bad, but... I'd rather be able to Dedenne because I have no other source of draw support. Hey, look! It's a mirror. You have a good deck. Okay, so he's kind of got the same thing going on that I do. Interesting. Uh, we will be able to put an energy into the bin. I'm probably going to quick ball for a... Ooh, probably a Zero Aura, because we are playing a more Tag Call engine, just like they are. So we'll see how the mirror match goes. Attaching the energy now, okay. I think I want to go more for the Zero Aura right now. I think the Zero Aura is just better. I'm going to throw this in the bin. I'm going to go Zero Aura here. I'm going to retreat in the Zero Aura before we do the shenanigans. Then I'm going to Dedenne. We do have Speed Energy here. We also have Tag Call. So we got a lot of good stuff going. We have Volkner as well. No Thunder Mountain. We do have a way to get two energies in the bin. We lost our energy switch, though. We lost our energy switch. We just threw that away, sadly. So maybe we could have played this a little bit differently, but we're going to go for this quick ball. Actually, wait, no, we can Guzma Hollow. What am I thinking? We can Guzma Hollow this turn. I know what I'm doing, chat. I know what I'm doing. Um, then we can also get the air balloon. Assuming that is in the deck. Assuming that is in the deck. Um... We're fine with just the one energy, truthfully. We're gonna Goose Mahala. Do that and that. We've got all three of these wonderful things. These are a few of my favorite things. Air Balloon, really nice card in my opinion. So we're gonna attach this right here. We do get Electro Powers. We also get Coco, which is really, really nice. Um, do I think my opponent is playing the Mew? I have no idea. But we will be able to get this full blitz off. We're going to dance to the Ancients here and here, but it's just going to go here. We are going to put this Coco down. I'm going to retreat into here, and I'm going to full blitz. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three on the Coco. I think I'm going to put three on the Coco. Because I think what I want to do next turn is I want to use Thunderous Bolt. GG's, never mind. They're just going to scoop. They are just going to scoop. An honorable win by my opponent. Or an honorable loss. Oh boy, I, just, I, just, I should just cut that part out. That's rude. Anyways, moving on to the next game here. Moving on to the next game instantly going on we're on a two win streak two for two with Picaram. we'll see if we can end the night three of three so here we go i would like to go first please you could get away with going second with this deck but i feel like going first is not not the worst decision that you can make in the world uh we do have the electromagnetic radar which is nice um throwing away that e-power though yikes 
or I'm sorry, the uh, the energy switch, I should say. We're gonna go here. I don't know what I'm playing against, to be honest. We're gonna go here. We're gonna end up using Dedene, so. Um, I'm gonna quick ball for the Zero Aura as well. So we're gonna put you down. We're going to quick ball, put this away, grab this, put him down. I think I'm gonna switch. No, I'm not gonna switch into Zero Aura. It's fine. Um, we are going to Dene. We're gonna run, run, baby, run. We do have Quick Ball to throw away this energy right here. I really, really like that. We also have the Big Charm, which is nice. Um, I'm going to wait to put the Big Charm on, though. I'm going to throw away this energy. I'm going to grab this Coco. Grab that guy. Put him right there. We're going to attach the Speed Energy. Hmm. What are the odds that they Marnie us turn one? I think I'm going to go ahead and dance of the ancients right here. Because then I have a little bit more safety proof in terms of I can use Guzmahala to go grab like the Thunder Mountain. I have this energy that I can attach to a bull tund. It looks like we might be playing like a mill or something. We might be playing Mill. No, we're playing Malamar. Okay, so interesting. A little bit more rogue. Um, people are very excited about dark decks upcoming because of the... Uh, what should I say? Because of the... Um, what's Infinity Walker? Is that what it's called? Crushing Hammers! Buckets! Awesome! I love Crushing Hammers. Anyways, we're going to keep going. We can still get it off. We can still get it off, chat. Um, let's see. We're going to tag call here. We're going to grab this guy because one of our Picaroms is prized. We are going to do this. We're going to attach this. I'm going to Goose Mahala. I'm going to go here and here. Hurts my heart to do those two. We do have this, this, and this. Um, actually, wait. I already attached for turn. I'm not going to get the speed energy. I feel like it's just unnecessary to throw away. We are still going to get the tag bolt, which is awesome. And we're going to Dedene for six more cards, which is Pog. Um, tag call is not going to work, so might as well just use it to throw away. But we're going to go here. We are going to full blitz. And now the real question is, do I full blitz to the active? think I probably do I think I'm okay to full blitz to the active at this point no I think what I'm gonna do I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go I'm gonna be a little bit more passive I think I'm gonna go Zara Aura. there's the choo choo I was looking for you Wish I could have had him do Accelerate Energy onto the Malamar. But this is going to be a sleeping version. Okay, so this could utilize the uh, Mareep from, I think it was Lost Thunder. The one that was used in the Sleeping Slugs Macargo Mill in the first qualifier. Came around in the first qualifier and people were like, oh my god. Because it's a pretty cool deck. All right, we need to get an energy somehow, some way. We do get an energy. We also get Quick Ball. We got Tabu Koko V. We got Electro Power. We got a lot of different goodies in the bag right now. Um, probably want to end up full blitzing to the active, but I could see a Mary incoming. Um, so we definitely need to hit some sort of switch card with this Mary because we got to hit two heads, and that's uh, that's pretty tricky. It's pretty tricky if I do say so myself. Considering we don't have an escape board as of right now. And look at that. We hit two tails instead. Um, okay. I think we should quick ball away in electro power. We should grab this guy. 
and we should utilize him with resetting hull. Then I think maybe we can go here and then we just pass because we can't really do anything else. And now we only have to flip one coin in comparison to two. But there's another slumbering forest. And they're going to be able to put a, a card from our hand to the bottom of our deck. So things are not looking good, Chief. Things are not looking good when you got a small boy hand like we do. Going to be able to get multiple Malamars in play. They've got the Polka Doll. So all they got to do is use the little Mary. They don't need to. They can go straight into Malamar to start thinning our hand down to one. Um, Polka Doll in case you need somewhere to hide, I guess. But again, we have to flip two heads. And that chat is very, very difficult. That's very, very difficult. There's the make do. There's the engine. And 180, a ton of damage. Doesn't take a knockout, but it's a ton of damage. And there goes that energy. Oh, and one. Whew. All right. We just have to pass. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how everything goes wrong. This is how Malamar is set up. This is not a greens version though, which is very, very interesting. Most of the, most of the ones that I've seen play a greens version. So there goes that. Yep. They're going to just take away all of them. All they got to do is just hit heads, forehead. We're going to use, we're going to retreat Boltund. There goes you. So it's a good thing I didn't end up tag bolting to the active. Ooh, look at that speed energy drawn out of it, chat. We're going to Marnie, put their thick hand away. We could boss's orders next turn as well. We do have a switch card. Although I'd imagine that that switch card is going away, but they can't get rid of switch and Volkner. We could have actually put the uh, put the choo choo down in full voltage here, but I think Plasma Fist is fine. I think Plasma Fist is a okay. We'll see how they decide to play this out. I'm wondering if they play like a Mallow and Lana. We need another Pokemon. That's just facts. That's just a straight up fact. Here's a Tool Scrapper to get rid of that. That's fine. Um, it kind of sucks, but it's not the worst thing in the world at this point. Got another Cincino. They can't evolve, so I guess it's something to use the Thingamadooda. Not sure what I wanted to call it, but... Make do. <laughs> um, hmm. We can Volkner for a switch anyways, so, like, it's not that big of a deal to me. But there goes that Volkner. That's fine. Go reset stamp down to three. Take that Cincino out of their hand. Mmm. Okay. Well, we could do this. We could do this. So one, two. Oh, look, another switch guard. Um, we are going to retreat into you and then switch into you. But this is the thing. If they max jammer again, we're in a little bit of a pickle. But uh, we are just going to go ahead and plasma fists. We need, to, we need to get our hand a little bit bigger. We need it to get a little bit bigger. There's another switch. There's a peek around. We don't really need you at this point. Energy? Sure. Um, hmm. We do have switches, which means that I... Oh, nope. Never mind. There's an energy. I was going to say, maybe they don't have energies, but they do. Um, hmm. Let's see. We do have a ton of boss's orders. That, in my mind, is what I think that they should toss away. Although, we have a lot of stuff right here. So maybe if they got reset stamp, it would be all the difference. So this only does 70, so we can't even take a knockout on this guy. Hmm, this is a pickle. This is a definitely a pickle. 
We could go Electrify. But that is Searcher deck up for energies. That is not um, from the discard pile. We're going to have two... Oh, geez, a lot in the discard. But there goes Picaram. So that idea, throw that out the window. Not needed anymore. We're going to go right here. We will be able to get this Mareep, though. We could get the Cincino. I think it's better to get the Cincino this turn. I, yeah, I think it's better to get the Cincino this turn. So we're going to do this. We're going to bring you up. And we are going to... Bolt Storm. Yeah, and now all we need to do is... Well, they're probably going to put the boss's orders back, is my guess. But I think we've, we've made this the best win con that we can. But it doesn't matter because they're going to max Jammer this to Dene, and they're going to do it for game. So GG's to my opponent. But that is what it's going to be for Pikaram. I don't think you really need to expect Malamar. Maybe this deck is the sauce. Who knows? Um, but good playing by my opponent, being able to shrink my hand down very, very early and be able to take and maximize on that. But this is atrocious gameplay. Remember, we're not very good at video games, but we have a fun time doing it. I will see you guys later in the next video. You can check us out twitch.tv slash atrocious gameplay play this game five days a week monday through friday um in from like 8 a.m eastern time to about noon so if you're up during that time maybe you're a european viewer um come check us out good luck in the lemons qualifier for all of you participating and uh peace i forgot to look at that deck list dang that was a saucy list too